All right, welcome back, everybody. So, um, in the last video, we created we actually created parts three and four. So I miss I miss I misspoke. So part two is the wheel. We we skipped over that. So we'll we'll come back and we'll get that right now. Anyway, without further ado, we're gonna create the wheel part of this wheel assembly. That's kind of you know kind of one of the main pieces. So I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go to new. We're gonna do metric, we're gonna go standard, millimeters, create. I'm gonna start a 2D sketch. I'm gonna use the X, Y plane. What I wanna do is I'm gonna create a center line because we're gonna use the revolve, I think is gonna be the best option for this wheel. So I'm gonna make a line and I'm just gonna draw this thing. I wanna draw this thing. Mm, Super long. That looks super long, right? Make sure it's straight. I'm gonna go right click, hit OK. I'm going to go to my consent coincident. I always get those confused. Coincident constraint. I'm gonna look for the middle part, middle point of this line. So I'll click that green dot. I'm gonna click the origin. We'll smack that right there where it locks in. I'm going to Right click, hit OK. I want to make change this line to a center line, like so. So you just click the line and you click the center line. Um, now what I want to do is I'm just going to create kind of a section of this wheel. If I were to take a, a big katana knife or katana sword or whatever you want to call it, samurai sword and slice it in two, kind of what would it what would it we be looking at? So what I want to do is draw a rectangle, I think. Two point, it's gonna have a, like a hole in the middle. So we don't want to draw it right on the center line. We're gonna kind of draw it over here to the side here. Uh, so there's one, I'm gonna do another one, kind of somewhere over here. I don't care about the dimensions right now. I know it looks, it looks kind of, kind of shoddy, but so there's that. Um, let me start dimensioning this. So this from here to here is, whoa, oh, I got way too big. That's gonna be 50. And then, let's see. Let me see, let me see. So if I dimension this line to my center line, that has a diameter of, is that 24? That's going to be 24. And then this from here to my center line, that has a diameter of 36. And let's see, I want to make sure that this is even. So I'm going to dimension the top to the center. I'm going to click my dimension. I'm going to so instead of giving an actual dimension, I'm going to click this dimension and I'm going to go divide that by two. So it centers those up. That's kind of what I want. All right. So this dimension I know from here to here is 10. 10, 10, 10, yeah, 10 like that. Um, let's see. And I want that, I'm gonna put this, let's see, how can I do this? I can actually, hmm, if I, I'm just experimenting here. Click the center of that, and then, or the midpoint of that, the midpoint of that with my coincident constraint, locks that in there. So I know that that's kind of in the middle. And then what I wanna do is, I wanna do the same thing kind of for here, right? So click the center of this, or the midpoint of that, the midpoint of that, locks that there on. And then that's 38. So this length here is 38. Right there. And I know that, what else do I know? I know that this is three. 
tells me that's, is that three or five? Yeah, that's three. Um, what else do I know? I know that this out cell, oh yeah, this dimension from here to my center, that's a hundred. Like that. And then, so this line here is not straight down, it's kind of at an angle. So let me see, I can trim this. I can actually trim this piece, this piece, this piece. Um, probably actually get rid of this. I can get rid of this line. Delete that, delete that, because this line is gonna go from here, kind of at an angle over here. Um, so that dimension from here to here is, it goes from five to three, so that's two. Now I'll trim this piece out. I wanna do the same thing down here. I oh, know this is probably not the best method. I don't know, you're like, what in the heck are you doing, bro? I'm gonna line these up right there, see, uh, there. And I'm gonna trim this piece out like that. Um, take a look at this and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna dimension from here to this point here, that's gonna be five. And from here to this point is also five. And let's see, what else do we need? Oh yeah, and then this diameter from here to the center, that's gonna be 36, 36. Like that. Uh, let me make sure these are lined up. So I'm gonna use my collinear, this one and that one. Um, okay, what else? I'm looking to see what other dimensions we need to lock this baby down. Okay, I'm gonna add a dimension from our center to like this line. It's gonna be this divided by two, like that. Let's see if I can add one from here to here. And that's going to be this dimension here, divided by two. Now let me add let me this one from here to here, maybe? I don't know. Nope. All right, so... So if you wanted to really like, it says five dimensions are needed for to constrain it. We what we could do is sometimes they can shoot, you know, go up to where you see this. It says automatic dimensions and constraints. It applies missing dimensions and constraints to selected sketch geometry. So you could click this. It tells what it tells us that we need five. You could apply it. So we could do that. We could do that. Hit done. So now we're fully constrained. Um, I'm going to finish my sketch. I want to revolve this baby. And since I already have, I only have one sketch, right? It already knows one profile. I, only, I have one axis showing my center line so it knows, you know, which ones to do. I want to, I want to revolve it in a circle 360 degrees. I'm going to hit the OK. So there is our completed wheel. There's really not much to it. It looks like a cake pan. You know what I'm saying? I remember my mom used to have those. Anyway, so then um, we need to, uh, what do we need to do? We need to add some rounds and fillets to it. So our rounds and fillets have a radius of three. I'm gonna click this. So then, let's see, click it again. Click my edge. So this one for sure. Um, this one over here, yeah, this one. I'm gonna go underneath it, click that one, click this one. I think we're good with those. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit apply. So then we got that. So then I just need to, we're gonna add a uh, material. So it says, our material is cast iron. 
So we'll go to iron cast, select that. There it is. It looks kind of it looks kind of kind of cool with that material on there. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, so we're gonna save this as wheel. And then we have all our parts created. I'm gonna save it. And then the next video, we'll we'll figure out how to put this all together. All right. Hope to see y'all back again. All right, come back. Just do it. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right, peace.